Another great mashup from Bill McClintock. He and DJ Cummerbund are the tops of the mashup game. This is, of course, Survivor. And Merle Haggard, Goodbye Comes Hard for Me from the early 70s. This is it's the best. Yeah, it's pretty good. I love this, yeah. Stay, but I know you don't agree When it's goodbye to all our love Goodbye comes hard for me. Somebody referred to it as the feel bad hit of the summer. I like that. But he put a lot of work into this. Saturday, by the way, you know, I the Tiger was from Rocky Three. Uh, my pick for the best of the Rocky films. Um, what's that? That's a that's a. You don't like Rocky favorite. Three the best? I just think it's the it, it's not. Oh, okay. Yeah. To me, I think the first one's the best. Okay. Uh, I mean, it's fun. Well, I'm not saying it's the best. It's my favorite. It's your favorite. Yeah, okay. Rocky that's, Three that's is my fair. favorite. That's With fair. Mr. T is Clever I mean, there Lang. is a lot going on in that one. You got Clever Lang. You got Hulk Hogan in it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's the one where... He becomes friends with Apollo Creed. Mm-hmm. So you have that going on. Uh, yeah, it's a good one. I like it. But... <laughs> What's his, uh, what was Clubber Lang was just so over the top. He was pretty fantastic. Great 80s villain. You know why you can? Don't get a sucker, no statue. Give him guts. I told you I wasn't going away. You got your shot. Now give me mine. Why don't you get the hell out of there? Shut up, old man. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and why don't you tell all these nice folks why you've been ducking me? Politics, man. This country wants to keep me down. Keep everybody weak. They don't want a man like me to have the title because I'm not a puppet like that fool up there. You know, you've got a big mouth, you know? Why don't you come out and close it, bad boy? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. The guy's crazy. Don't listen to him. The little man don't want to come to me. Then I'll come to you people and lay out the truth. I am ranked number one. One! That means I'm the best. But this bomb be taking the easy matches. Fight another bomb. I'm telling you and everybody here. I'll fight him anywhere, anytime, for nothing. See, the point of Rocky Three was by that time Rocky had gotten rich, he'd mm-hmm. gotten famous, champ fat, he'd gotten <laughs> soft, That's what they call it. champ fat, and Mr. T comes in. Clever Lang was the young and hungry. He was the original trash talking athlete, and he shows up. Why don't you let your woman be with a real man? That was pre A team, I think, because. Uh, the 40th anniversary of Rocky Three is this Saturday. It was May 28th, 1982 it came out. I think the A-team, people saw it, Mr. T, and they're like, we got to do something with this guy. I think the A-team started like the next couple of years or whatever. And he was kind of like a goofy, I know he's supposed to be a tough guy, but he was kind of like a goofy dude in the A-team. He's but what a, in Rocky Three, he, he was intense. He's a little kid's version of a tough guy. Yes. In A-team. Because he's question. afraid of flying and all these other things. But Mr. T, I went to college with one of his daughters, who unfortunately looked just like him. Uh-huh. Um, and it was a big, big deal at the time, the, the very hoity-toity uh, suburb that they lived in. It was called Lake Forest. And uh, Mr. T made national news at the time because he cut down all the trees in his giant yard. Mm. So he had this massive yard in this very affluent and wooded suburb. And he had nothing but stumps in his front yard. <laughs> and the neighbors were displeased. It's, but I, but they're not putting Rocky Three back in the theaters. You know, I was talking yesterday about the 25th anniversary of the Fifth Element. So they're, they're going to show that in theaters for a couple of days. The Thing, the 40th anniversary of that in June. I didn't see Rocky Three back in the theaters for the 40th anniversary. And it seems to me like that would really be a movie you'd want to put back in the movie theaters. I the Tiger put Survivor on the map. Yeah, that was the Eye of the Tiger. Eye of the Tiger, and uh, yeah. 
And then they, I think they did, I mean, up until then, Survivor was like a local Chicago band. Like, the singer would sing the national anthem at Bulls games and stuff. And then they exploded with Eye of the Tiger. And then they did like a Rocky Four song. Yeah, Rocky Four was the was, follow up. It was Rocky uh, Four was uh, Burning Heart. Burning the Heart. Burning Heart. Burning, burning Heart. So, uh, Bill McClintock, I'm a sucker for mashups. And he did Eye of the Tiger and uh, Merle Haggard. Mary, you had a dumb question. I did have, I do have a dumb now, question. Now, how does he know that it's a dumb question? I said dumb question. Oh. Mm-hmm. Is that where, like, the UFC. Also perceptive. <laughs> <laughs> like, the, how, how big Smack Talk is in UFC and wrestling. Did it come from that movie? From Mr. T acting like that? I don't know if it came no, from no. that movie, but that to me is like at UFC least UFC a... wasn't around then, was it? In no, the 80s? I don't know. Yeah. No, no. It can't... Smack Talk is as old as sports itself, but not like but, that. One on one. But you go back to Muhammad Ali, and he was talking all sorts oh, of. Oh yeah, okay. Like, yeah, that's true, right? Yeah. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali. Well, Even like Cassius Clay. Yeah. 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 So I think that, and but even you know in. Baseball, I'm pretty sure Pete Rose is a big smack talker. Yeah. I, there was there was a lot. He was a smack uh, gambler. Yeah. <laughs> Jabbering going on. Uh, speaking of 80s movies, though, I saw the Top Gun sequel yesterday. Oh, you saw Maverick? Yes. Was this a press screening? Yes. Okay, and how was it? It was incredible. I heard it's awesome. It's so awesome. Yeah. It's the best blockbuster that's not a superhero movie in the past 15 years. Now, can you give me a little bit of a spoiler? What do they do with Val Kilmer? It's more than just his photo on the wall, right? Yeah, they they treat him kind of how you would think. Like he's in scenes, but does he, he can't he's not talking. Uh he does talk a little bit. Okay. Uh They dub his voice or it's him No, it's, they he, explain he's had some accent. Yeah, like okay. he's he he has cancer in the movie. Oh, okay. So and Miles yeah. Teller, who's the young main dude in this, he is supposed to be Anthony Edwards' kid? Yes. He's supposed to be Goose's kid? Yes. Okay. He's Rooster. an odd beauty. What's that? Miles That's Teller. what my girlfriend was saying. Miles he, Teller? He's he's like a guy that you find attractive, but he's not she put him in the typically same camp. attractive. She put him in the same camp as uh, Adam Driver. Adam Driver. I Un- know. Unconventionally handsome? Yeah. Yeah, Adam Driver's attractive, too. Yeah. Well, Miles Teller was taking heat for a while because he was shutting down productions because he wouldn't get vaccinated. So he was one of these dudes, and then, like, mm-hmm. COVID would break out, and they'd be like, thanks a lot, dude, this or guy, what, whatever, you know Miles what I mean? Miles Teller, he, kinda... he was in, uh He was in uh, Whiplash, I think, was one of the bigger movies that I remember him in. And he was in the bad Fantastic Four movie, but he, oh, he's right. been in a bunch of stuff. I mean... I can't... This is the guy she thinks is hot? unconventionally hot he ca- he looks like a 14 year old that well, right guy that's <laughs> he's, an he's old 30, picture he's pushing 40 by the way <laughs> but, but you're right he still does look like a young dude anyway yeah good movie huh yeah no it's great so <laughs> let me let me tell you like as far as just going and this is a movie if you want to make the trip back to the movie theater to see like an adult movie mary mm-hmm. this is the one that i think you would really love i've never seen top gun one I haven't my, either. My my girlfriend hadn't either. It doesn't matter. She, and she's she knew what was going on. Okay. Because there's no special effects really. Like it's not a bunch of CGI stuff. They're flying real planes, so it feels like there's real danger. Yeah. And like they're really, it's it's really intense. And then the acting's good enough. It's fun, and you know a little bit cheesy. Got a little bit of a love story. Jennifer Aww. Connelly got some jokes in Gorgeous. it. Gorgeous. Okay. It's a great blockbuster. Okay. Like it's a great blockbuster movie. And it's you won't be lost. It's not like who's no, that guy? no, okay, no. Right. the fly plane shoot thing. Got it. <laughs> got it. <laughs> and John Hamm's in it too, right? John Hamm's in it. They got a great cast. A uh, bunch of young dudes that you're probably not that familiar with. And yeah, they're trying to launch some young guys' careers with this movie. Yeah, it's a it's a good movie. Like I probably, I mean, I never saw. I've seen Top Gun a bunch of times, but I never saw it in the theater. Mm-hmm. I watched it for the first time in a long time. A few months ago, and I do enjoy that movie. It is a very good movie, but I like may enjoy this one more. People, and were, it's not super long either. I don't think it was like two fifteen, maybe not even. People were pointing out that um, years ago, Tom Cruise, after the initial success of Top Gun, he said that it would be irresponsible to do a sequel. And I'm not sure what he meant by that. And obviously, you can change your mind 20 years down the road. But um, yeah, two hours and 11 minutes. So that's not. Too, I mean, it's, that's not bad for a movie like this. Yeah, 
and it moves too. It's not like they're dwelling on stuff like it. It goes bam, 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 and so it doesn't feel like two hours. Hmm. I, I had a great time watching it, and the audience was it was packed in there. So me, it was me, and my girlfriend, and then two of my friends, and we were all pretty pumped to see it. So. We were the ones getting the crowd kind of hyped up. So when there was something cool happened, we're like, yeah, like we were cheering. And it got other people just as hyped. So you get like cheering and clapping and laughing. Wow. Which I, I like that shared experience in a movie theater. I like when people are into it versus it, the difference is when I go see a Marvel movie the night it's released, everybody's geeked out and they're Dressed having a great up. time. Yeah. Uh, you go see it. A week later, and it's the people that are like, eh, like they're not reacting to yeah. the big moments the way everybody else does. And and you don't have to know this Top Gun world to have those reactions because mm-hmm. they're just fun moments. Okay. Yeah. Is the CGI good? I didn't even notice any CGI. Oh, really? Yeah. That's what the he guy, said. Well, the guy who directed this was the guy, they hired him specifically because he's real good with CGI because he was the guy that directed the Tron sequel. Mm-hmm. The guy who, Tony Scott was the guy, Ridley Scott's brother was the guy who directed the initial, the original Top Gun movie. He killed himself Oof. Yeah. years ago. He jumped off a bridge at like the Port of Los Angeles or something. Jesus. he had to have Onto concrete? No, he fell in, if I recall, he fell no, in he the didn't... water next to a tour boat that was going by. So imagine like you're on mm-hmm. that boat. And a guy hits the water, and they're he like... He brain cancer, though. He had something like but, that. But they yeah. say... That was inoperable, and he's like, eh, peace. They say when you hit water that hard... It's like it, it might as well just be concrete. Mm-hmm. You don't think about it like that. Because can't divers do that? It can, like, jump into water from a high distance and well, be okay. Well, if you know how to do it, I mean... Positioning your body right. Yeah, you have to really pencil in there. Like, really point your toes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's it. You got to point your toes. But no, it's really because then it. Yeah. You you slide right in. Yeah. Well, the, it was great though. I loved it. I saw a bunch of there's a bunch of customers that said hi to me. They enjoyed it too. I mean, it is like a Hollywood movie, so don't expect. You know, it's 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 just fun. It's a fun movie. Go in with expectations of having fun and not being. Don't pick it apart. That's one of the things that annoys me most about people. They go, well, that would never happen. Yeah, I know. Tom Cruise is the one flying the plane. Right. I always think of Jay Leno when he was talking about, uh, what's the one where they're lost in hours with George Clooney? Gravity. And people were like, hmm, I don't think the physics were right. He's like, (laughs) it's George Clooney and Sandra Bullock. Right. They're going to get some stuff wrong. (laughs) Right. That's why you have scientific consultants on yeah. these films. You want to get you get it you want to make it as realistic as possible. But it's still a movie, and they want some drama. And uh, this movie's got good acting. And yeah, uh, Jennifer Connelly's still she's lovely. gorgeous. Yeah, she's beautiful. She's great. Uh, what I'm reading here about Tony Scott, by the way, says that his like Ridley Scott said that Tony had been fighting a lengthy battle with cancer, but that the coroner's report said that there was no evidence of cancer identified in his body. So I don't know what that means. Secret cancer. He got that secret <laughs> cancer. Yeah, Tony Scott uh, died 10 years ago this August. So there was no way that he was going to be able to direct the Top Gun sequel. Yeah. So it's good. It's I, I loved it. I, I had a, such a good time seeing this movie. Okay. Mary, look up Miles Teller in Top Gun. Okay. And I think you'll... Well, I was also do they have a shirtless? Do they do yeah. they redo the shirtless volleyball beach scene? They have a tribute to that. But it's not volleyball. It's a different... Frisbee? No, no, no. Bag mitten. I, again, I don't... Do you okay, want... so he's muscular. He's very muscular. He, yeah. He's hot. I don't know. Is what... he? He's got this weird mustache. Well, well that's, that's a the... tribute to his dad from the movie. I don't think this guy's attractive. <laughs> oh, he's God. He's got a he's... weird face. Yeah, that's what why I said... Well, like? well, that's, what, that's what we're saying. What does is he look like? He's um... un... Uh, unconventionally attractive. attractive. Like he looks like a foot, but a foot you want to <laughs> yeah, kiss. Like, like Adam, a foot you want to kiss. I don't think Adam Driver's hot either. No, he's a really weird looking dude. But yeah. there's something. But there's my wife thinks he's hot too. Yeah. So, yeah, you don't really fall in the. Un, well, your unconventional hot is. Uh, fat don't gingers. even say it. <laughs> no, you like skinny, grimy guys. No. Oh, that was Erica. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Yeah, you like fat gingers. No, you like like Machine Gun Kelly. I don't think he's a conventionally attractive guy. He's trashy hot. That's yeah, that's, so a, that's, right. that's what I'm thing. saying. You but like skinny, my, but, greasy looking but that's dudes. Not, no, that's not my type or anything. Trashy I like, hot? Yeah, that's a whole different No, her category. real... How is trashy hot different than skinny, greasy guys? No, Mary's They're real different. type is How? stocky, 
short hair, beard. Yeah. Yeah. What? The exact your opposite of your boyfriend. Your yes. boyfriend is not your normal type. I told him that on our first date. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm my wife's type either. Straight up. It's weird how that works. We were eating tacos, and I looked at him and I was like, you know, you're not my type. I don't normally date guys who look like you. And he's like, okay. <laughs> great thing to say, by the way. <laughs> this is off to a great start. You know, I can see us moving in together a couple years down the road. You got a cat that I can hate? Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Original Top Gun is on Netflix. Yeah, yeah, I don't feel like I'm missing out by not seeing the original one. I think it's worth um, watching if you want. Okay. Well, maybe Who's I will. Who's the guy who kind of looks like Harlan Williams, but is not Harlan Williams? <laughs> Harlan Williams Jr.? Miles Teller? I don't, I don't, I don't. <laughs> well, that's what I'm like. Miles Teller looks like Harlan Williams, but not. There's another actor who has a weird face like that. And he's in a bunch of movies. Justin Long? No. Justin Long face? It's not Harlan Williams. Is it's it Samuel L. Jackson. Not Samuel L. Jackson. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I don't think he's. Kidding. I mean, Samuel L. Jackson might be uh, uh, considered unconventionally uh, attractive. I don't too. remember asking you a goddamn thing. Mm-hmm. Uh, is it a '90s guy? Like I a... think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know who you're ta- thinking of. I think it's not Harlan Williams, but he looks like him, and he was in. I feel like like uh, rom coms in the '90s. Uh, he was in, was he in? DJ Qualls. So you, so uh, can't hardly wait. I don't know. That's the summer one? Heath Ledger. It's the end of the year one. Like the big party. I don't know. I gotta I, look. I got, I got, I can't remember We're his like name. We're like almost there. What is his name? I'm looking at that cast and I, he's not in this. Okay. Ethan Embry? Not Ethan Embry. But like Seth the, Green? The, oh, it, like it's Seth not that Green. movie. It's a, it's a different. Are you thinking of What Had American Summer? No, not that one. That's. Comedy. Ten things I hate about you. Not no. that. <laughs> but you know who I'm talking about. Like as soon as I can think of the name, it's he looks like Harlan. That's the best way I can describe it. Is he looks like Harlan Williams, but he's not Harlan Williams. Nineties. <laughs> but we're seeing like teen movies and then rom coms. I feel like I don't know, Bill. That's who this this who this Miles Teller guy reminds me All of. Right. You want some sad breaking news oh, that no, I'm getting from uh, that I'm yeah. getting from Killing one of our bureau show. chiefs? News as many as 14 people killed in a shooting in Uvalde, Texas, at an elementary school. Oh no! Including the attacker, as many as 14 people, including several children, have been killed in an elementary school shooting. Was it another? Was it a in little Uvalde, kid? Texas? Like the little kid had the gun. Don't, don't know about know. that. Uh, an active shooter incident at an elementary school. Suspect had been taken into custody. Um, how does this keep happening? Like, how is the it, shooter dead if the suspect has been taken into custody? Oh, maybe that was an update. Oh, update. How do they keep getting into the school, though? It was what I don't understand. Well, not every school has metal detectors. I mean, you know, but even if you after can... Sandy Hook, I thought they like ratcheted things up, like at least like no. the locks. So not, not, everyone not every in. school that costs money, and I think a lot of schools do the cost benefit analysis, and they figure, mm, what are the chances going to happen here? Active shooter at Rob Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, which we must have a uh, bureau chief down there somewhere. And that's heartbreaking. So, obviously, it's a, a developing story. I found the guy. <laughs> who is it? Who's the guy? It's Brecken Meyer. Oh, no, God, it's not Brecken yeah. Meyer. From Meyer? Franklin and Bash? I like him. Okay. I know who that is. And Garfield? Wasn't he in Garfield or something? Oh, yeah, he was John in Garfield. Uvalde, Texas is west of San Antonio, Texas. Uh, there, so. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Well, anyway, I'm going to let you guys figure out who that 90s actor is. That was it. Is it Freddie Prinze Jr.? No. Oh, was it Freddie Prinze Sr.? Is it Chico and the Ombre? No. No. Is it... It's not Heath Ledger. Hugh Grant? No. Hugh Grant? <laughs> Hugh Grant. <laughs> Notting are... Hill? Uh, 90s male actors. Was it... Uh, was it Rex Manning? Mm-hmm. Was it, uh, you Rex don't know Manning Rex Day. Manning Day? I know Rex Manning Day. I've heard of that. I don't know who Rex Manning is. Isn't he big on Twitter? From Empire Records? No, you're thinking of uh, Rex Chapman. Oh. <laughs> the basketball player? The basketball. Former <laughs> basketball player? He's the one that gets all the retweets. <laughs> yeah, right. 
Uh, I got to take a break. You want to go see Nikki Glaser, One Night with Nikki Glaser. The tour comes to Cleveland uh, this summer. A couple of weeks away, actually. I think a week from Friday. It's June 3rd at the world-famous Agora. So if you want to see Nikki Glaser, I will have tickets for you after this break. And then uh, 4.30, next chance for you to grab some money. Go fund yourself with 1000 bucks. It's the Alan Cox Show. On our free iHeartRadio app and your favorite smart device. Just tell it to play the Alan Cox Show. On iHeartRadio. 